You're back with another one. This time we got top 10 anime characters immune to the death note. By top 10 anime. Make sure y'all like their video, sub to the channel, and let's see what they talking about. Because thumbnail was Miriam. Meruem. Meru. 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 You know how I was pronounced. I'm struggling right now, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. The king. The king, bro. It's the king. <laughs> it's that was the thumbnail, so I want to see why he's immune to the death note. I mean, I guess because he has no last name, but then again, his name is Miriam, so blip right there. Oh, here rambling. Let's get into it. The death note is the most powerful killing tool in the world of anime. Mm -hmm. All you need is a lighting utensil, a mental image of the target, and their name to kill that individual in any way you desire. Even superhuman characters. I guess I forgot some. Oh, ooh, I'll be right back. Hey, keep me up to date. What what happens real quick? I right? right, it's gonna be like two seconds. Invisible girl. Yeah, you can't see her face. That makes. Yeah. She's stronger than even all night. One of the key requirements for the death note to work is having a mental image of the target's face. However, Invisible Girl's quirk is continuously active, meaning no one knows what her face looks like. Therefore, it's impossible to kill her with death note, unless her quirk can be deactivated. It doesn't make sense. You can't see her face. That's true, he can't see his face either. He's definitely just a suit of armor. Where he's neither alive or dead. Can't kill a suit of armor. He changed his entire body in a failed alchemy experiment to resurrect his dead mother. And as a result, his soul is essentially tied to a metal armor that no matter how much damage you inflict on it, no harm is done. He feels no pain. He can simply rebuild any broken part to be as good as new. Therefore, most forms of death written in the death note cannot kill him. Unless you specifically do like wipe the seal from your 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 body, and that will technically kill him, but I don't know if that's count will count for the death of Because he is still tell, still alive. Technically, you can kill him with the death note, but it just doesn't stick. He has a unique ability called Return by Death, which prevents him from permanently dying. He simply gets resurrected to an earlier point in his life whenever he dies, which that's means cool. no matter how many times he is killed. He'll just go back to a previous save point. Unfortunately for him, if he doesn't find out who is using the Death Note to kill him, then he's stuck in an infinite loop of heart attacks. But at least he has enough time. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Roshi is immortal, but he can still there are several he can still die, in Dragon Ball universe that are immune to the Death Note, like the dead and the gods. However, if we look at the mortals exclusively, then Master Roshi is one of the very few mortals that's oh, damn, well, Goku could die from a death note. He died about four the times. This is a rule stating you cannot kill someone over the age of 124. And Roshi was over 300 years old at the start of the series, rendering the death note powerless against him. Before we get too, too deep in there. Too deep. Which, what was this anime? What am I? I'm at 259. Technically, you can kill him with the death note. Clear one. Technically, you can. Re Zero? I bet. This character is an unclear bet. one. Caleb City made a whole skit on, like, just a, the similar premise of going back to a save point. Return by death. Which prevents him. He made a whole skit with the exact same premise. It was funny. If you if you don't watch Caleb City, you might as well. He he been making anime related skits. It's like Long Beach Griffey or like Artie's World. That could survive the death minute. But the best example would be Hida. Due to extensive experimentation with various techniques from his religion, he has gained the inability to die by virtually all means except for malnutrition. His forbidden technique essentially Which is turns him into a bull. living voodoo doll, where he kills his targets by self-inflicting fatal wounds. He even survived decapitation and dismemberment, making it almost impossible to kill him with a death note. It's like you can survive all of that, but you can be malnourished. Come on, dog. CC has a number of reasons why she can't be killed, 
apart from being over the 124 year old deadline. First of all, she's guarded her name very well, and no one really knows her real name. But even if you manage to discover her name, she is essentially an immortal. People have tried to kill her in many ways in the past, such as a shot to the head, burned at the stake, crushed by water pressure, and even guillotine. So, a heart attack is hardly going to kill her. Yeah, they're already dead. Okay, that makes sense. The nicer versions of Shinigami found in Bleach can't be killed either because they are already dead. They are essentially made of spiritual energy and are entirely sold. Is he gonna reach it for like Ryu gun here? Rounds of death note that only kills the living. The main character is the only one who could potentially be killed while in his human form. Mm. However, there is a very high chance that his death just means he can live on for centuries in spirit form. As a, yeah, as a Shinigami, like, it really don't matter. He'll be fine. Oh my gosh, she really put Ryuk on here. I was joking. I thought. He... <laughs> I was joking. I knew Ryuk's not going to die to the death note. He literally states it in the show. Assuming that the notebook even can kill a Shinigami, there are several safety measures in place to protect them. For example, the Shinigami eyes don't work on them, therefore, their real names will never be revealed. Secondly, they cannot be killed by any normal means. And standard heart attack is certainly not going to kill them. I bet. Wait, then who's number one? He gonna say Madara? <laughs> I'm joking. Because he can't be killed by death though, pretty easily. But he's not immortal. Madara, However, he is still heart attack. immune to the death note because of another rule in the death note related to age. Similar to old age, there is a lower limit to age. You cannot kill anyone under 780 days old. And the king of the Chimera Ants was just a 40 day old baby at the time. I didn't know that. If he was still alive, that was the death note is useless against him until the 780 days are up. And that many days is more than sufficient to wipe out all the other races that have the ability to write in the death note. <laughs> That's crazy. Alucard? Okay, that does make sense. Alucard he is a vampire. Is an overwhelmingly powerful vampire, and someone who would probably enjoy a heart attack. But, unfortunately, it's not enough to kill him, as he is an immortal. Apart from the fact that he is also above the age limit, many people have killed him in the past, even with holy above. weapons meant to kill his kind, but he is mm. still standing. If you thought that was OP, it gets better. After he absorbs Schrodinger's power, he is just unstoppable. A power that requires him only to think to exist. How does one acquire that power? <laughs> like, Georgia, what? A light you think to exist? I know the Schrodinger's cat is a thing, but I don't remember what, what that is. So I don't even remember what Schrodinger's power could be. Actually, I'm going to Google that right now. But I really don't feel like Googling it right now. So actually, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Because, uh... I'm not Googling that. If you, you know, if you know what Schrodinger's cat is, you can tell me. That's, it's interesting. I'm just not, you know, willing to Google it right now. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. Liked it. Comment. Subscribe. I'm out. Peace.